Let's have a look at the settings and configuration you can do in Power Music. First of all, if we go to the View menu item here, you will see that we can switch on and off certain things. If we switch off the toolbar, we lose the icons across the top there. It may well be you want to make more space on the screen. You can do that. Let's put that back on. And the other thing you can switch off is, of course, the status bar at the bottom. We normally just leave both of these on by default. The other option here is to go into tablet mode. Now, tablet mode is if you have a portrait based screen, then you only want one page appearing at a time. Now, I've shown in other videos how you can set up the number of pages across the screen, but rather than go into every individual song and change it to one page per screen, simply clicking on the tablet mode option here sets it to one page per screen. Now, nothing obviously has happened, but if we go into the full screen mode, you'll see that now every page appears one page per screen. And if you're using a tablet computer, then this is the way you'd want the music to be displayed. So it's a quick way of displaying it as a single page per screen. We'll go back and switch that off. And I'll go back to a piece of music which has two pages per screen and go back to full screen. You'll see it's back to the way it is set up in the edit song. Other settings we have here in tools. And if we look at this in detail, we can change the colour of the chords in the chord sheet and we can change the colour of the text line. We can also put a background onto our chord sheets. So let's just make some changes here. Let's say we wanted yellow chords and we wanted pale blue words and we want all of this on a orange background. Pretty horrendous I know but who knows, maybe someone would want it set up this way. If we save these settings and then go to one of our chord sheets, and there it is. Orange background, blue text and yellow chords. I think I'll set that back to the default. Go back here, settings. So we'll put this back to red and we'll have the text in black and we'll just have a white background. Okay. What you can also do is you can set the colour for printing. If you have a colour printer you can again choose a different colour for the chord line and a different colour for the lyric line when you're printing out. What you can also do is, let's get rid of this horrible background first, let's save that, that's better. Let's go back in here and have a look at the settings again. What you can also do is you can change the font which is used to display the chord sheets. Now, one of the things about these fonts are they are all what's called monospaced fonts. In other words, each character is the same width. You can't use fonts like Arial or Times because they are proportional fonts. But here's a list of fonts that can be used with Power Music for displaying chord sheets. So let's go to Andale Mono and save that. And you'll notice immediately it changes into that particular font. Everything, both the lyric line and that the chord line changes to that font. Going back again to our settings, uh, we can make it bold. Now again, it depends on the um, monitor you're using and the size of the screen. Sometimes bold looks better, sometimes it's better not using bold. So if we save that, and there it is in bold. Again, the personal choice is yours. You can display it whatever way you want. The default setting at the moment is not to have it in bold. Uh, let's change it back to Consolas, which is quite a nice font, and save that. Is it back to the way it was. What other settings do we have here? The metronome. We have a metronome which will either give you a flashing LED or a click sound, and you can set that to display for a particular length of time, and the default is 10 seconds. And if you just want to see the metronome working, there it is there, and the tempo of the metronome is set in the tags sheet for the piece of music. This is fairly technical stuff here, but if you want to play around with the maximum size of font that will be displayed on screen and the number of lines you can display on screen before it will uh, require a page break to split it into multiple columns, you can play around with the figures in here.
Again, uh, you can change the actions of the page up, page down, uh, either to move through a song or to move back and forward between songs. And these are all configuration options which people have requested in the past. Uh, you can just ignore them if you're happy with the defaults or you can play around with them if you want. The sidebar which comes up when you're in full screen mode from a playlist, you can set it to automatically display and you can also set it to automatically play audio for the sidebar. Again, you can do this through the actual sidebar itself, but there's a setting in here that allows us to change that. The last one here is for changing the language of the chords. Now, by language, you don't mean the spoken language, like English and French and German, but what we mean is a notation for music, and we have some people on the continent who use a European notation for their music, and you can see there the standard for the European notation. Uh, if this is something that's of no interest to you, then you just ignore this option here. But if you are a person who uses this European notation, you can set that by default. One other thing you can do in the settings up here is you can bring up the startup guide. If you want to see the startup guide, clicking on there will bring it up. And you'll see here we've got an option where we can show the startup guide every time we start up our music, or if we switch that off when we start up our music, this will not be displayed. So that's the various settings that we can put into our music.